Yeah, Pastor Allen. Pastor Allen's not here today, so you guys get to preach. Didn't we tell you that? Why don't you guys move over to the center for me? And while they're doing that, I want everyone else that worked out at camp, helped out with kids, did all the many jobs that we had to do. If you're wearing a tie-dye shirt, you better get up here. That's, that's, the, that's the point of it. <laughs> Trevor was hiding on us. I think you were. All right. It takes an army to have church camp. It takes an army. There comes Miss Becky. Miss Becky's our favorite person of the week, right? You all like her better than you do me, don't you? Yeah, I know. That's all right. I like her better than I do you as well. No. <laughs> so while they're still coming down, I want to throw a couple of numbers at you. You guys can have a seat. I want to throw a couple of uh, a few numbers at you. Last year was the first year we had church camp out at Wesley Woods. It had been several years since we'd been out there. Uh, we had 14 kids spend the night, and we had about 25 during the day last year. This year... We had 34 kids spend the night, and we had about 43 was, was our average during the day with the day campers coming out. So at night with the volunteers, we had 55, 57 people out at camp every single night. During the day with all the volunteers and the kids, we'd have about 75 to 80 people. So to say we had a lot out at camp, this week was an understatement. I actually turned away some kids because we ran out of beds and, and ran out of space in the cabins. So it was awesome, was it not, guys? We're still sleep deprived, I'm afraid. Or at least this 41-year-old is. <laughs> so it takes a lot of work. Uh, I know several of our volunteers took off vacation time to come out there. Uh, it's, it's impossible. Would you guys please show your appreciation to all these many volunteers? We couldn't do this without them. So we had, like I said, sleep deprivation. I have never slept in one day as much as I have this past Friday. Uh, <laughs> Some of us would take naps, though, during, during the week to try to make up for, take advantage of the down times. Um, you pretty much fall asleep wherever you're at, including a, a, a chair. Uh, we had a few scrapes. Uh, we had an ER trip. Andrew Carter, had, every time he looks in the mirror now, he will remember Wesley Woods. Unfortunately, he had about 20 to 30 stitches on a Thursday night. Outside of that, there's always camp stories. We just don't care for those camp stories. But we had a few uh, bug bites, right? Just a few. Uh, homesickness, a little bit of homesickness. Uh, we were drenched by rain. We were flooded on Wednesday. But all of this stuff is what makes camp so great, right? Yep, yep. So what was your favorite thing, Phoenix? Probably the fishing tournament. The fishing tournaments, yay, John Pickler. Swimming. Forget. Swimming. 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 Me. Yeah. Um, everything. Everything, that's a good answer. Swimming. 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 PJ party. PJ party where we dance at like 10 o'clock at night in our PJs. Free time. Free time. Which, what would we do during free time? Nine square. Nine square, nonstop. Swimming. 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 Fishing. Fishing. <laughs> Just being there. Just being there. That's a great answer. Cody was our camper of the week. He is the only kid that I know that you say, it's your turn to clean the bathrooms, that he stands straight up from the table, throws both arms up in the air and says, yay, I love to clean the bathrooms. <laughs> so needless to say, that attitude got him the camper of the week. Uh, we made good friends. We made close friends. You guys got closer together, right? You got closer to God. Uh, we had awesome food from Miss Becky. Some of us ate a little bit more than others. Um, the cereal bowls were not big enough out there, so I had to improvise. <laughs> we sang songs. We, we danced Fortnite dances, right? Yes, they, they keep trying to teach me. We fished a bunch. We swim all hours of the day, including after bedtime. Right. So Tuesday night, we put him to bed and like five minutes later said, get up, we're going swimming. That's always fun to do. 
Uh, we had devotions. I always brag on our JCs, our youth. This is one of the best things that we do, that they really uh, step forward and show their leadership skills. I'd asked a couple of them to lead devotions, and when they saw their buddies leading devotions, others came up to me and said, hey, can I do a devotion? Hey, can I do a devotion? I have never had that happen at camp before. So they not only got up and, and usually in the past they'll read from a devotional book, but these guys actually study and wrote and made their own devotions to share with the kids. Uh, their leadership was phenomenal. I, we had Bible study games, we had worship services every night. So our theme was Camp Insta. So that was a play on Instagram, uh, the social media with pictures and filters. And so we talked about selfies and being selfish versus selfless. We talked about filters, not only in our, fil uh, or in our photos, but also in our lives. And our verse, can you guys say our verse? You can cheat and look at each other's t-shirts. So our verse was John 8:32, right? You have to say it loud for them to hear you. <laughs> we did study the Bible, I promise. <laughs> Cody, here. Yes, the camper of the week. Here we go. Then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So we talked about how social media and photos and filters, how we kind of hide our real selves. And, and we also finished the week talking about the truth and that the truth of our lives is knowing that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, right? That's what we finished up on. It was an awesome service Thursday night that we had. Uh, every, every year our last service, our, not, our last nightly service, we close out with prayer. And there is this really cool cross. It's a huge cross like 15 feet or so up a uh, wooden cross that they have up there and they've got like a little garden area around it. Uh, and we invite the kids that if they wanna pray, they can go out there and we kinda turn it into our altar the very last night. Every single kid got up from the worship area and walked out there to the cross. There was kids circled around this cross. It, 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 it was just moving to witness. Um, I know some of that's a domino effect, but like I said, never seen every single child go out there. We prayed together. Then we went on and had moved on down to the pool and had our candlelight service, which we started with a baptism. Um, Cash, which I think is in Tennessee this morning, but Cash was baptized. And then we had our candlelight service. So we saw God this week. We saw God move in lives. I saw tears praying around that, um, that altar. Uh, just kids' lives changed. And that's, that's why we kill ourselves <laughs> and, uh, and go to Wesley Woods each year. So anybody else want to say anything? You guys want to preach anymore? No? No? All right. And as much work that went into this past week, I have to give it to Christy. She was a great organizer. She kept her cool. She kept the kids focused when it was hard to keep the kids focused. But there were also times that it was 1.30 in the morning before she would come to bed. She wasn't out talking to adults. She was talking with the kids who were homesick, who were wanting to call home, who were wanting to go home. But she gave up and a lot of sleep and was up like at 5.30 in the morning to get those campers who had, the JCs who had to be back for soccer practice or for whatever reason, she was up getting them up and ready. So. This week, she was, the, she was the organizer. She was the one that we need to, to give our applause to. And Becky's peach cobbler was the bomb. <laughs> I did check this morning. I've ate more carbs in the last week than I've ate in the last year. 
I didn't gain any weight, Becky. I think I burned it off. I'm pretty sure I burned it off. But, you know, we know this week, all of us that were out there and witnessed everything that went on with camp, we know lives have been changed. Like I said, we had one baptism. Uh, I know I've got another child wanting to be baptized as soon as we can get it scheduled. Uh, I had another conversation with a mom. The, the child has talked to her, but is just too bashful to talk to me just yet about it. But I know lives are changed. And to the extent, sometimes we may never know, but we know that the seeds that were planted this week at Wesley Woods were very deep, very deep. And the relationships that were built were very strong. So thank you guys for coming up here. Thank you guys for all your support. It, it, it just takes a lot to, to pull off camp. But thank you. You guys can go have a seat now. Give me your heart, give me your song, sing it with all your might. Come to the fountain and you can be satisfied. There is a peace, there is a love, you can get lost inside. Come to the fountain and let me hear you testify. Into the wild.
Anytime a heart turns from darkness to light Anytime temptation comes and someone stands to fight Anytime somebody lives to serve and not be served I know, I know, I know, I know God is on the move Shining brighter than the sun We're lighting up the world for everyone 